welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Braum. Today what we're going to be doing with our four decks is we're going to be trying out four brand new landmarks from the new expansion, Cosmic Creation. Uh, the first deck that we're going to play is with the new Freljord landmark, the Scar Grounds. Whenever our ally survives damage, you grant it plus one, plus zero, and tough. So granting, of course, means for the rest of the game, that ally will have tough, and of course it gets that permanent buff with the plus one, plus zero. So we're going to be playing that kind of in the in the uh, most obvious deck possible with Vladimir and Braum um, together. Um, this one is this one with the, the donation deck here. That's what the two Ds mean, for those of y'all that are newer viewers. This one was a viewer-submitted deck, so I didn't, I didn't pick out the exact list here. But it looks pretty good. We got 13 three-ofs and just the one little one-of with the Bloodsworn Pledge. Both of our champions are going to be awesome with the Scar Grounds. Um, I really like Braum with the Scar Grounds. Whenever, so whenever Braum survives damage the first time, you get to create a Mighty Poro and you give it tough, which Braum with tough is awesome. And also you start adding on power to Braum so Braum can challenge and start killing things. That's pretty exciting. Of course, Vladimir has that attack ability um, they will do one damage to the rest of your team if you if you put them to the right of your Vladimir, which will then give the rest of your team tough and give them the plus one plus zero, which is pretty cool. We got Legion Veteran in here also that whenever an another ally survives damage, granted plus one plus zero. So we have multiple ways to buff up the power of our units, which is also good for Trifarian Assessor because then um, whenever we play our Trifarian Assessor, hopefully we have some five plus power allies with all the buffing and we can get some card draw. In with that. Um, another combo we have in here is, of course, Ember Maiden. Round start will deal one to everything, but then it gives everything on your side tough whenever you have the Scar Grounds in play, so that then the Ember Maiden will not kill itself anymore, and it will just continually deal one to everything each round start, which is pretty exciting. And of course, that one to everything can help turn on your Ravenous Flocks, um, and so on. So that's going to be our deck. We're going to go ahead and try this one out. We'll see how it does. Um, looks like we got Scarthane Stefan in here. Surviving damage, getting a whole bunch of uh, power. Same with Unscarred Reaver, gets a whole bunch of power as well. No Crimson Curator. No Crimson Curator, no Crimson... No, like the, the four mana 5-5 five five either. We don't have either that does one to all of your stuff whenever you play it. Not playing either of those. But So let's try out this list. Okay, yeah, I played. you played some Death Lotus. With this kind of deck and it worked great. I could see that. Alright, this hand looks good. I'm just going to keep it all. <laughs> you know, we can save our spell mana for the Transfusion. Transfusion's really good. I guess I didn't really check exactly what we were playing against to start with, honestly, and I, I should have done that. Trundle Trindamir. I kind of feel like I should have mulliganed the Ember Maiden. I'm not sure if we're going to need that one. This is kind of difficult. For the homestead. I think, I do think I, I, I'm just going to save the spell mana. So picking out exactly what to do there is kind of difficult. But... What's up, Sideways? Yeah. Yep, this is your list. Vengeance is rude. Fire knows its own. Oh, I can't wait. I guess I got the disciple. Okay, so right now Trifarian Assessor isn't drawing any cards. I learned my scars. Only the 
All right, let's draw two. It could be a good ravenous flock. We do kind of need to worry about ruination. Like if I could just go ravenous flock to start with, they go ruination. That's obviously annoying. This is a really good combo though, the Scar Grounds and Ember Maiden. You got a problem? Yeah, I like the Trifarian Assessors in here. Nothing's tougher than like that's nice world. just draw you know, having that draw two. They look angry. Um I don't wanna do 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 this. I guess I just Ravenous Flock. So Transfusion does, let's see, one, two, three, four, does four damage to them, so it put them down to three. That's probably worth it. And I just don't know if like my Ravenous Flock's really gonna get much use. The rest, you know, like other, you know, other turns, especially with this Ember Maiden dying. And I'm not not putting out more things for Ruination, of course. No, no Scar Mothers in this deck. Need more ways to do self damage. Need more transfusions. For decades, and you call on me now. Plus three. I need this to be plus four. Three will not have the assessor survive. Wait, so I could do that and troll chant and have the the assessor survive. I mean, I might as well. It's either that or play a Scar Scarthane Stefan, but Assessor is better than Scarthane Stefan. Hopefully we can finish this out. Not sure that we will be able to, but hopefully we can. We just have too much Nexus healing. Problem is they're definitely blocking. They're definitely blocking Crimson Disciple, right? No, maybe not. They just have so much Nexus healing. Sweet. There we go. That, I didn't want to lead with Demolitionist. All right, got to win. Okay, looks like we're playing a champion list deck with Freljord and Shadow Isles. So this could be this could this kind of deck could be one of two things. It can either be a control deck with Ledros and, you know, just being like a Ledros control deck, and you just don't really need champions. Or it can be an Undying deck and a lot of, like, the early Shadow Isle stuff um, with the Undying and things like that. So this deck could go one of two ways. Let's go ahead and replace the Ravenous Flock. Either, either one of those matchups, we probably don't need the Flock, and especially with this hand. This could still kind of go one, you know, either way. Okay, well, it's definitely a Shadow Isles deck. War Mason, reporting for duty. Yeah, it could could be yeah with the new Pesky card. So, top end, it could be like they who endure. Okay, or it's Mistrates, so. 
Okay, it's gonna be a mystery attack. Clear it out. I'll trade that for Ravenous Butcher if they so choose. So I, I use the troll chant. We keep Unscarred Reaver alive. So then we'll have a... Yeah, because we... Yeah, we need that alive. But I don't really want to give either of these minuses, right? Because I want them to deal damage. Our Vladimir is already almost leveled up. in there. They missed. So what's their Freljord card? Is it just They Who Endure? I don't really know what else they would play from Freljord besides They Who Endure. Hey, what's up? Hola. Uh, we just started. Just started the games. So you're coming in at a good time? All right, we're going to take the additional damage instead of blocking with the Reaver so that um, I can draw more cards with the Assessor this next turn. Hmm. So for like a transfusion, you know, or something like a two mana spell. Yeah, that they who endure is probably going to be pretty rough. Who would dance with me? I proved myself to the war mother. Problems up. All right, so I've leveled up Vladimir. And maybe this attack's just really bad because it does give them the like even more things on the for a they who endure. Not sure how many things they've had die. Oh man, they have had a lot die. Actually, it's probably been like 11. Oh, love it. Thank you, Troll Chant. Good thing we drew those three cards and drew into that Troll Chant. Too. Oh, Ember Maiden's risky. Okay, so if I play Ember Maiden, we kill like the Blighted Caretaker. We go down to one. I don't think I can play it. Let me show you what I can do. Blood isn't a toy, dear. People are. Oh, that's too bad. GG's. Of course we are still friends. Yeah, after two months, the Season Vault gives Essence, right? Yeah, the rank up end of the Season Reward. So you have your, your quests and then that to get Essence. Okay. Transfusion is just such a good spell with everything that we have, and Troll Chant works kind of good right now. There we go. Okay. We got some units. Our hands looking respectable. Oh, I can't wait. I think next turn I'm probably going to be playing Demolitionist and then having a two mana spell. 
want to be able to keep our, our two mana spells available. The past is a burden we must learn to bear. Hmm. Well, I'm just not going to be blocking Riven. Like, even with these two mana spells, I don't think I'm blocking Riven. I guess I could with Transfusion. But let's just get the Scar Grounds in play, because that can do some work. If they don't break, they'll burn. You I am superior life form. All right, so they're going to have a lot of creative cards. One out of five. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. I, I really like Transfusion. I think I'm going to just save Transfusion. I, I think, like, out of the two, I'd rather have Transfusion in my hand than Troll Chant. Let's get a good look at you. We got other Crimson Disciples. I think this is a good trade. Can you improve perfection? Man, now I get Braum? But I really need to play Ember Maiden. But it's Braum. Hope they don't have a pump spell. I don't like this. They have two spells they can cast. Whoa, not blocking. Just doing that. Strength through That just kind of kills them. <laughs> they did have that other card that they didn't play, so that could be another Ravenous Flock, which is what they need to stay alive. Alright, it was another Ravenous Flock. That was the only card they could have to stay alive. Well, for the most part, you know, obviously they could have like other removal spells and stuff. All right, we did get the problem to up to three power, though. It is easy, see? Yeah, I could definitely see. Yeah, I could definitely see playing one Scar Mother with the two veterans for sure. Um, this this list that we're playing here is a was a viewer submitted list. So, I'd, um, so as far as like why playing certain cards, I, that's that's kind of why we're playing that list. So, you know, basically here we're looking at either Crimson Disciple or the Scarth Thane Stefan, and I'm going to go with the Disciple for the Nexus damage. Got me good. Let the flames take you. Why is that 2 on attacking? Oh, because it's just going to die to the Ember Maiden. Anyway. That makes sense. Routes closed. We'll see, they may just have like another ribbon. Boo. 
car was going to be important for me. Oh. How about that? Let's show our friends the door. Show me your best. We'll see about these attacks. You know, of course they do have like the spinning axe. They can pair with the urchin. But you know, like they're at 10. I want to pressure their life total. They have tons and tons and tons of cards over there. <laughs> um, they should have, you know, like... So they have that. They have the ignition. I think they probably have two, maybe three. They have at least two of the blades, maybe three of the blades. There's the other ribbon. This would be a good Trifarian Assessor draw. Oh no! That's too bad. That's too bad. And imagine if Crimson Disciple still dealt two damage. Imagine that, like that would be pretty crazy. So our other decks today, we're gonna play, be playing Maokai Mill with the new PNZ landmark where both players draw a card and we're gonna try to level up Maokai and make them draw their entire deck. That's gonna be that one. That's gonna be the deck we're playing up next. That one's gonna be kind of silly. I can see that not working as well, but it'll be fun try out. And then we'll be playing a bunch of dragons in Daybreak with Aurelian Soul Leona with the new Targon uh, landmark that can make things cost zero mana. Wow, what a great four drop. Man, what a card. So we're gonna have that. And then uh, Riven Katarina will have the new Demacia landmark that gives your things plus one plus one and a challenger. And pairing that with Katarina, right? Because then you'll know, give Katarina, you can keep replaying Katarina, give it plus one, plus one challenger with like that, you know, with that quick attack, and then it bounces back to your hand. So you can just kind of use Katarina as a repeatable removal spell. Ooh, got another donation deck. All right, finishing out this last bit of damage is going to be pretty tough. I don't know, why why not cast the Ignition? I love a taste of the action. <laughs> Just a deck? Okay. Inferior design. Uh, let's see. Come about! Okay, Tarek Fiora. Okay, I like it. Cool, Tarek Fiora deck. I could definitely see our deck playing a couple Captain Farons. Captain Farron just seems like an amazing card to put in Noxus decks that just ends games. Ends games in your favor, of course. Can you improve perfection? Really need to like Trifarian Assessor to like draw three and then draw three transfusions. <laughs> Basically needed that. Yeah, can I ra Their Nexus is damaged. It started at 20, it's down to three, so it's been damaged. So can I just go ahead and Ravenous block that? No Riven for you. You're going to have all these other things that kill me, but you won't have Riven. That's where I draw the line. All right, did we do did we do a prediction thing before? Finally, 
Okay, you win. I just said no, no ribbon. But you win from there. No ribbon. To uh, close it out afterwards. If y'all remind me. Alright, Heimer Zoe. Alright, we'll just, you know, keep, definitely keep the Scar Grounds again. That card's gonna do some work. So it looks like I'm going to have to play Ember Maiden on turn three to try to kill Zoe. And hope they don't have like a Mystic Shot to kill it. We're gonna attack first. Have them maybe spend you know, like maybe they play like a three mana card and tap out, and then I play the Ember Maiden. Can you improve perfection? Well, that didn't necessarily work out, but it also wasn't bad. Okay. The Ember Maiden will still kill itself. Now what do we want to do? Oh, I can't wait. Answers. I have them. I love a taste of the action. Destruction feeds my fire. I hope they don't kill my Ember Maiden. Yuck. Okay, that's only dealing one. Wait, that still kills it. Oh, wait, it doesn't. Right, because it gives it tough. Right, okay. Because basically, the Semper Main is going to be really important at, like, getting rid of these turrets. Okay, so that MK Ray just did nothing right there, but I guess it wouldn't really do a whole lot. They waited. Alright, so our Vladimir's already up four. The only holiday with celebrating. They're going to have that 8-8. Eight, 8-8's eight. Eight, going to be a problem. No. So I, I definitely, I wanted to play Vladimir here so I could have Transfusion to protect against that, but of course they just drew the three cards and drew into it. Um. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. I'll earn my scars. So eager to suffer. This is messy. That's good. Brothers born from battle. You like scars. You love me. It's, it's smaller than the diagram. That hurts. War Mason, reporting for duty. Because now Vlad's not going to level up either. Turns out Heimerdinger's pretty good. Another day, another fight. Quick work of you. Who would dance with me? Clear it out. My turn. Mm. 
So I'm down to nine. All right, so we at least got that 8-8 eight, eight out of there. We don't have any way to give Scarthane Stefan Overwhelm, which does kind of look a little bit like an oversight for playing Scarthane Stefan. I'm not really sure how Scarthane Stefan's going to be that valuable for us. Okay, Braum and Vladimir now. So unfortunately, we don't get to play both. Probably shouldn't just die to Mystic Shot. Probably. Mystic Shot or Pale Cascade. Yeah, I do like pack mentality in this kind of deck. Uh, we played against this kind of deck yesterday one time, and uh, I thought that I, you know, I thought that I was doing just fine and, and everything. But then they played a, a pack mentality that won on the game. That is a really powerful card that can win you games for sure. This is from this is the tournament competitor. If you went if you got three wins or more. I'm not really stopping the organic beam. You could play Kato for overwhelm. I think they're just playing like Might is better, honestly. I think this is a good Might deck with having um, some large things you just play burst speed. Vladimir is a really good might champion because Vladimir always gets blocked by smaller things. So yeah, so this was the, the seasonal tournament. So I mean, if you got three wins in the seasonal tournament, you got the card back. But unfortunately from here, just don't have any way to get damage through in all of these. Yep. You know, all these turrets from Heimerdinger just win the game. So I think that is a big weak weakness to our list. We can't get damage through. Okay, so for our last game, we're going to make a couple of small changes to try to help finish out games. A little bit better we're gonna be um so cards that we're taking out we're gonna just kind of trim we're taking out one ravenous flock one unscarred reaver we're taking out one scarthane stefan so we're trimming all of those from three to two and uh then we're also taking out the blood swarm pledge so we're taking out those four cards and it's in, and instead um oh and then also trifarian assessor we're trimming that from three to two as well so we're gonna play two mites in here that can give overwhelm to uh, vladimir uh, you can put a Might on a Braum even, but then of course, you know, it works really well with like your um, Scarthane Stefan or Unscarred Reaver that you do pump up the power with. And then we're going to play two pack mentalities to be able to give all of our stuff Overwhelm whenever we have, you know, like this board that we're going wide, that we're making a bunch of things a little bit bigger with the Scar Grounds and the Legion Veteran. Uh, pack mentality is a really good finisher. And one Captain Farron. So instead of like drawing some extra cards with Assessor, Captain Farron... Um, draws cards with the decimates and also is a big overwhelm thing and captain farron just wins games on its own so i'm gonna try these five things for some finishers because i think that's what our our deck is lacking is some ways to um finish games and deal the rest of the nexus damage through blockers so let's see how this does all right playing against riven draven with freljord so noxus freljord mirror we got a four and a five mana champion. They have two three mana champions. Man, this is the kind of hand that if it works, it works well. Let's give it a try. This this has a whole lot of potential, but you know, if they just like kill my Ember Maidens, this can blow up in our face. We're gonna have the Troll Chant to help protect Ember Maiden. And one, it can blow up in our face, but two, it's also like pretty slow, right? Because I'm not doing anything turn one, not doing anything turn two. Not really doing anything turn three. To serve the greater good. I have shun. It's also pretty slow. 
I want to play Scar Grounds, but I guess I have to lead with Ember Maiden because of our slowness. I, of course, have the Troll Chant to protect. Yeah, Captain Farron should probably just be in any kind of mid-range Noxus deck. It's very, very strong. It's possible this doesn't work, but, you know, we're going to make them play another spell instead of just uh, getting, re getting rid of my Ember Maiden for free. These rune weavers are like, no, what do we do? What did we do? Yeah, this is such a good combo. Scar grounds, Ember Maiden, such a good combo. I could see Battle Fury being pretty decent, but you're you're gonna want to have your um uh, what's it called? You're gonna want to have your overwhelm things, you know, for your uh, Battle Fury. Double Scar grounds. I don't know if we've ever had double scar grounds before. They could be double tough. Hi -ya! Hi -ya. None of those things give it more health. Now, of course, they can. Okay, so they're not going to put the blade on the ribbon. So what do we do? Another Scar Grounds or a Disciple? You think Disciple? Alright, well now it's easy. Now the other Scar Grounds doesn't do anything. That hurts. These Scorched Earths. I need these Ember Maidens. War Mason, reporting for duty. For the glory of Noxus. We'll make quick work of you. Cool, another Ember Maiden. I'm cold, I'm hungry, and there's rocks in me boots. I'm sorry, who are you? Yeah, this is this is the really scary thing is how big is this going to be? You know, with my life total. Destruction feeds my fire. Because I'm going down to ten with the Ember Maiden, and then I guess going down to nine before my next attack. So that's risky. <laughs> Look what you Love it. Love it. That'll help us stay alive. Stop. You fool. Routes closed. Hmm. I was expecting that to do more damage to me. Alright, so we stayed at five. Ember Maiden puts us down to four, which of course means it, a Deathmate kills me. They take three down to three. Love it. 
Great draw. Because we gotta do this before they would kill me with the decimate. That should just help out. Yeah, tough is such a good keyword. It really is. What a great game. What a great game. That was super close. So we didn't need the top deck might. GG's. The top deck Ember Maiden uh, won us that one, but man, that was that was pretty crazy. So there we go. There's Vladimir Brom. So the, the the difficult thing about this deck, honestly, it's like there's a lot of good stuff in here, and I think that I think that the Scar Grounds, I think this landmark is performing really well. I think this landmark is very very strong. The difficult thing with this deck, uh, especially now to start with, is finding the right cards to play. There are probably, you could probably make three separate, like if you, if you just stick with Vladimir and Braum, and then you change, you, you know, you go like Vladimir, Braum, Scargrounds, Ember Maiden, and then change like the other like 28 cards. And you, you could probably make three completely different decks and they would all be kind of viable because there are just so many just reasonable cards that are, you know, like pretty decent you could play. You know, like Ruthless Raider. Perfectly fine in this kind of deck. Crimson Curator. Obviously, these kind of like removal spells, like your Culling Strike and things like that. Iron Blista, just fine. You know, like you're pumping up your power. Iron Blista seems pretty good. You need Kindly Tavern Keeper against aggro? Absolutely. You know, like that's that's a good card. Um, you know, you could have like your Crimson Awakener kind of stuff like there's just so many cards you could play wolf rider absolutely why not and then you know like your top end lots of things i'm sure people play you know scar maiden definitely tarkaz why not um scar scar mother great card there are just tons of great cards to play and so that's kind of the hard thing is none of them are like absolutely perfect besides like those four that i kind of mentioned like you're definitely playing ember maiden you know, your champions with Braum, Vladimir, Scargrounds. Like, you're definitely playing those four cards. But kind of besides that, everything else aren't, like, they're good. And so you have tons and tons of good cards you can play. And so I'm sure you're, you know, if you're watching this later at home, y'all on Twitch chat are probably like, why not? How about this card? Or this card? Or this card? It's, yeah, I'm sure those, you know, like, those cards are all very good. And so finding, it's kind of about finding what you're comfortable with. And, uh, you know, like how you want to build your deck and, you know, which cards you really like more than others and, and you know, which cards you kind of kind of fit well together um, kind of thing. And, uh, yeah, that's that's kind of what it's all about with this kind of deck. Um, I think that probably in like three weeks or one month from now, we're probably going to have a very good Vladimir Braum deck with this um, with this landmark with the scar grounds but i think it's going to take time of lots of lots of people playing this kind of deck lots of people trying out different card combinations and it's it's the kind of deck that it will over time kind of meld into a like it'll probably meld into a um a good meta deck eventually once we kind of like after after you kind of see like what a lot of other people are playing and so you kind of put like the cards in that are good against what other people are playing and whenever you kind of get like a consensus list kind of thing like it's going to take some time um but you know this is a, a good deck and a good and if you can if you can find those like great combination of cards of like the the right cards to play in your two and three and four and five and six mana slot and your right top end the you know to have to finish games if you can find that before other people you're going to be uh you know you're going to be winning a lot of games and so it's just a kind of about exploration and, and finding exactly what to play in a deck like this. All right, but that's, uh, yeah, Transfusion definitely required too. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say the Troll Chance a requirement. It, it's, you know, probably going to be in the deck, but, I, but Transfusion, def, yeah, Transfusion's definitely in there. But that's Vladimir Braum. Uh, fun thing to play here. We, you know, we learned a lot. I, I think that, you, I think you do need like Overwhelm stuff to be able to finish games out. I think that's going to be, a necessity 
and we had that in that last game. Um, didn't really use him, I guess, in that last game, but yeah, I, th I think that's going to be something that uh, you're going to need. All right, but that's it here for Vladimir Brom. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments too with, uh, you know, like your your version or like cards that you really like, cards um, you think perform better than others, anything like that. Love to hear um, that kind of feedback. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.